what to eat before a 24-hour drive bath. Well, the difference between a 24-hour dry fast and a 3-day dry fast and a 16-hour dry fast is immense. A 16-hour dry fast, you don't even care, it doesn't matter. A 3-day dry fast, you need to poo the whole week before, you need to get everything out of your system and eat stuff that's cleansing, but you need to prepare for it, like not just one or two days before, a whole week before. Speaking of preparation, if you are doing a 24-hour dry fast, you should already be at least an advanced faster. You should have done tons of water fast, tons of juice fast, or at least some juice fast. Basically, you should have a cleaner body to begin with. Don't just jump into a dry fast if you've never done any fasting before. Not a good idea. Now, when you prepare for a dry fast properly by eating the right foods, there's a huge difference in how you will feel. I have dry fasted for 24 hours and lied on the bed like a starfish, hoping for the world to end. And I have dry fasted and walked around the streets, shopping, talking, having the time of my life because I prepared, I, I ate nutritious food, I ate the right kinds of foods and I ate the right kind of portion of foods. And that made all the difference in how well my dry fast went. So be like me, do your dry fast, properly by preparing for it be beforehand with the right kinds of food. Let's get straight into the kind of food you should be having. You want to stimulate ketosis. How do you do that? You have foods that are half the caloric intake that you would normally have. So if you normally eat 2,000, have about 1,000 calories. Also, you want to have high fat foods. High fat foods are stuff that is full of fat, like olive oil, coconut oil, avocados, Avocado oil, I'm gonna show you what an avocado looks like. That is an avocado, just in case you don't know what it is. And that is what it looks like. Ooh, situation there. Hold on, I have a situation. I have used a carrot as the back of my earring because I am so creative. Beautiful foods to have include eggs. There is a selection of eggs in case you don't know what it looks like. I've even eaten one because I want to show how desirable they are. They're easy to digest, they're highly nutritious, and they just go down well. They give you the proteins and all the nutrition that you need to go into a dry fast. If you're vegetarian, have nuts, no problem. Maybe you don't have tofu, you really want to minimize the, the amount of processed stuff you have, but nuts, strawberries, raspberries, these are all keto-friendly foods that are very nutritious. If you can have it organic, you want to have lots of vegetables that are carb, low in carbs, like tomatoes, cucumbers, salad leaves, all of that kind of stuff is amazing for you. A high fat meal means that you will increase your t potential of getting into ketosis. And ketosis, along with the dehydration of, of uh, dry fast, stimulates all those amazing processes that increase the benefits of a dry fast. For instance, there's an increase in human growth hormone, which is just great for your skin and your, and your stimulation of collagen and circulation, and it's just a really powerful, powerful youth hormone. <laughs> also, it increases stem cell regeneration. It also increases autophagy levels in your body. So all of that stuff happens when you're more in ketosis. So you wanna be able to go into a dry fast already kind of priming the pump, sort of like making sure that your body is ready and able and dying to go, well, raring to go into that dry fast. Do not have processed foods going into a dry fast, guys. Just go in with as little toxin or poison in your body because your body's gonna deal with it and you can't even pee anything out. It's gonna deal with whatever's in your body on its own. So one or two days before, eat clean, eat raw, eat unprocessed. Ooh, sorry, situation. Oh, here we go. Also stuff like steaks, fish, uh, dairy. All these things take time to digest. Dairy can cause inflammation as well, so you don't want any of that in your body. Fish, I know people are saying fish, really no, but it can take up to three days to digest fish. Steak definitely can take up to three days. And sometimes if it's not good quality steak, it can just like get blocked and just like undigested. It just actually never get digested. It could be, you could still be digesting steak from 10 years ago, guys. 
just saying. Red meat is really heavy on your body and it can block up your colon if it's not properly gotten red off. So do not have heavy meats before you go into a dry fast. Stick to being vegetarian or, or vegan. Eat really light. Just in case you've unknowingly eaten something during the weekend or in the past few days that you know you had in a restaurant, what you should do, regardless of whether you ate out in a restaurant, is to eat some activated charcoal. What is activated charcoal, you ask? Activated charcoal, also known as carbon pills, can be got in any pharmacy or drugstore, and it's really cheap. And it this is this is it. Activated charcoal. The, the brand doesn't matter. It's, as long as it's high quality activated charcoal, that's what it actually looks like. That is a little pill. Oops. Activated charcoal sucks up all of the chemicals in your body. It's like a giant sweeping. It's like it's like a vacuum cleaner. It just sucks up any chemicals, toxins. It has this one teaspoon has a surface area of a football field. It's not the charcoal you get from a barbecue pit, guys. Do not eat that charcoal. That stuff is poison. It will give you cancer. Do not have stuff from the barbecue pit. This stuff is really good. Take about a thousand mg of it every time um, you're doing a dry fast. And that's just gonna clean your body out. Other things you should not be having is alcohol. Do not have alcohol before a dry fast. It's just gonna dehydrate you. What you should be having is loads of water instead. All right, guys, that's the tips. For more information, go check out my website, hackfasting.com, and check out the article that I've written called What to Eat Before a Dry Fast. And like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think about eating before dry fasting. Share in your comments below what you'd like to talk about and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.